My Jesus and I Adventures In the ancient city of Jericho, a great wall surrounded the city, protecting its inhabitants from any who would seek to harm them. The people of Jericho were known for their wealth and power, but they lived in fear of the Israelites, a nomadic people who were said to be favored by their God. As the sun dipped low on the horizon, two Israelite spies, sent by Joshua, cautiously approached the ancient city of Jericho. Their mission was clear, to gather intelligence on the city's defenses and inhabitants in preparation for the Israelite conquest. With hearts pounding and eyes scanning the horizon for any sign of danger, the spies made their way through the city's outskirts, seeking to blend in with the bustling crowds and avoid detection. Their footsteps echoed softly against the cobblestone streets as they moved with purpose and determination. As they ventured deeper into the heart of Jericho, the spies observed the towering walls that encircled the city, marveling at their strength and formidable appearance. Yet, they knew that with God on their side, no wall could stand in the way of his people's destiny. Seeking refuge for the night, the spies came upon the humble dwelling of a woman named Rahab. Recognizing them as Israelites, Rahab welcomed the spies into her home, offering them shelter from the prying eyes of the city's inhabitants. Despite the risk to her own safety, Rahab's heart was stirred with courage and compassion as she pledged her allegiance to the God of Israel and promised to aid his people in their quest for victory. With gratitude and awe, the spies marveled at Rahab's bravery and faith, knowing that her actions would play a crucial role in the unfolding of God's divine plan. As the first light of dawn flitted through the narrow streets of Jericho, Rahab quietly made her way to the roof where the two Israelite spies lay hidden. With a sense of urgency and determination, she helped them down from their hiding place, lowering them with a makeshift rope made from sturdy strands of cloth. With each careful descent, Rahab's heart pounded with a mixture of fear and resolve, knowing that her actions could have dire consequences if discovered by the city's authority. Yet, her faith in the God of Israel outweighed her fear, driving her to risk everything to align herself with his chosen people. As the spies touched solid ground once more, with a silent prayer for her safety and protection, they bid her farewell, knowing that their encounter with Rhea would be a pivotal moment in the unfolding of God's divine plan for Jericho. After the two spies had come back from Jericho to the camp of Israel, Joshua commanded the people to take down their tents and roll them up. He said, Gather your flocks and cattle, and be ready to march. The Israelites, led by their leader, Joshua, had been wandering in the wilderness for many years after fleeing from slavery in Egypt. Now, they stood on the banks of the Jordan River, ready to claim the land that God had promised them. But before they could enter the land of Canaan, they had to conquer the city of Jericho, with its impenetrable walls standing as a formidable barrier before them. The Lord spoke to Joshua, giving him specific instructions on how to bring down the walls of Jericho. Joshua gathered his people and told them of the Lord's plan. They were to march around the city once each day, for six days, with seven priests carrying trumpets of brown horns, leading the way. On the seventh day, they were to march around the city seven times, and when they heard a long blast from the priests' trumpets, the people were to shout with all their might. The people of Israel followed Joshua's instructions faithfully. On the first day, they marched around the city, the priests blowing their trumpets while the people remained silent. They did the same on the second day, and the third, and the fourth, and the fifth, and the sixth. 
But on the seventh day, as they completed their seven circuits around the city, Joshua commanded the people to shout, and the priests blew their trumpets. As the sound of the trumpets and the shouts of the people echoed around the city, something miraculous happened. The walls of Jericho began to tremble and shake, and then, before the eyes of the astonished Israelites, they collapsed, crumbling to the ground. The Israelites rushed into the city, and with the Lord's help, they conquered Jericho, destroying everything in it except for Rahab and her family, who had helped the Israelite spies. And so, the city of Jericho fell, not by the might of human hands, but by the power of God. It was a testament to the faithfulness of God and the obedience of his people.